I am just getting ready for my trip to Spring Creek Cemetery in Mississauga. Here I am at Spring Creek Cemetery in Mississauga, Ontario. This is believed to be the oldest cemetery in Mississauga, uh, in fact, in Peel region. It was founded in 1827 by a group of pioneers that settled this area. Many of the founding families of Mississauga are interred here. In fact, many areas of Mississauga are, known, are named after these families, such as this street that's right in front of me, Clarkson Road. I thought it was an appropriate cemetery to bring you to for the first in our Canadian cemetery series. And the reason is, this is where my mother is buried. So this cemetery has a lot of meaning to me, uh, as well as being an important cemetery in, uh, in the city of Mississauga, which is pretty much the town I grew up in. Um, a lot of Mississauga's founders, or what became Mississauga, uh, the founding families are buried here at this cemetery uh, and the Clarkson family is actually buried just over here so uh, before I go any farther let's just go on a visit and let's visit uh, Spring Creek Cemetery and let's do a little bit of spirit walking so now we're gonna go take a walk into uh, the historic part of the cemetery it feels nice in the sunshine but yeah it is still minus double digits, not, not as cold as it has been. But it is a good day to come out to, uh, to the cemetery and, um, and visit and explore and learn something, uh, do what my mother called spirit walking. So here we are today, uh, Spring Creek Cemetery. Spring Creek Cemetery is located in Clarkson, Ontario, which is now part of Mississauga in the regional municipality of Peel. Historically, this area was known as Toronto Township. To provide a little bit of context, it is about 45 minutes west of Toronto. Historically, the location of the cemetery was surveyed as the northeast corner of Lot 29, Concession 2. Modern listeners will recognize this as being on the west side of Clarkson Road, south of the QEW, north of Lakeshore. Cemetery Timeline In 1806, the Crown acquired approximately 70,784 acres of land from the Mississaugas of the Credit, through what is now known as Treaty 14, or the Head of the Lake Purchase. Almost immediately, the Crown began to survey the land preparing it for settlement. By 1807, Peter Hess was the new owner of Lot 29 Concession 2, the land that would eventually become Spring Creek Cemetery. 1812. It's unknown exactly when the first burial took place at Spring Creek Cemetery. The earliest dated headstone is that of Christopher Hendershot, which records the date of death as April 17, 1812. Christopher Hendershot received Lot 26 Concession 3 as a land grant in 1808. It's unlikely that he would have been buried at Lot 29 Concession 2. There's no evidence that he had any relationship with Peter Hess or that there was a burial ground established on that area at that time. So it's really unlikely that Christopher Hendershot was actually buried there. Although to have a memorial stone later is not uncommon for this era. 1824. In 1824, William Kelly purchased the land at Lot 29 Concession 2. He subdivided it and sold two parcels of land, the first in 1827 and the other in 1828. The parcel that he sold in 1827 to John Chambers is the property that would eventually become the cemetery. 1827. Originally founded in 1827 on a one-acre lot located on the northeast corner of John Chambers' 20-lot farm, this cemetery was located on the west side of a trail that would later become known as Clarkson Road. 
At this time, the cemetery was known as the Chambers Spring Creek Grave Ground, obviously for John Chambers' association and ownership of the property. But the Spring Creek comes from a spring that meandered through the property. Now, there's no evidence of this spring today, but apparently in 1827, it did exist. 1835. In 1835, John Chambers sold his farm to Frederick Starr Jarvis on March 25th. The cemetery plot was excluded from this sale for some reason. Chambers retained ownership of the cemetery. 1837. The first written reference to the cemetery actually occurs in 1848, but that reference makes a note that, quote, prior to 1837, the trustees of the cemetery were John Chambers, Warren Clarkson, and Nathaniel Hemphill. 1848. The earliest records kept were written minutes and an account book dated to 1848. The first meeting minutes that were recorded are from April 11th, 1848, and they read, The object of this meeting, called by the trustees, is for the neighborhood to take into consideration the management of Spring Creek Graveground. 1849. March 19th, 1849, John Chambers sold the one acre of land that the cemetery occupied to Warren Clarkson and the cemetery trustees. 1859. In 1859, another half acre or 0.2 hectare was purchased from James Morgan, the new owner of the Chambers farm, and that was to expand the cemetery. The plots were being sold at that time for a dollar and a quarter. 1873. Warren Clarkson held the position of chair of the cemetery board from its inception until he retired in 1873. The minutes from the meeting which documented Clarkson's retirement as chair, they survive, and they state, quote, Mr. Warren Clarkson then tendered his resignation as trustee of Chambers Spring Creek Graveground. 1882. When Warren Clarkson died in 1882, the Clarkson family grave was enhanced by an elaborate carved stone angel. In many ways, this stone angel is the icon for Spring Creek Cemetery. 1901. According to the cemetery board minutes, the name Chambers Spring Creek Graveground was still being used in 1901. August 10, 1901, the cemetery minutes note that Henry Shook B. and is hereby appointed to collect all outstanding debts due to the Chambers Spring Creek Graveground for unpaid lots. 1907. At the October 15, 1907 meeting, the minutes refer to the cemetery as the Clarkson Cemetery. 1931. Another half acre was acquired for $580 on January 29th, 1931, from Mr. Cyrus Ward. 1951. The Spring Creek Cemetery Board of Trustees was formally incorporated on July 19th, 1951. Presently. Spring Creek Cemetery currently sits on 20 acres of land. Now, I've been to this cemetery many, many times throughout my life, and it is hemmed in there is no room for expansion. So I think it's fair to say that Spring Creek has reached its maximum size. Uh, there is still some density available for their website. They are still offering plots for sale, but at this point, there is no way that it can expand its borders. It's a historic cemetery that is the final resting place of many of the founding families of Mississauga. Uh, it was founded in 1827, but that's not why I brought you here. I brought you here because it's also the final resting place of my mom. And when we think about cemeteries and all that they represent in our lives, uh, it seemed important for me to reach out for our first episode to the cemetery that means the most to me. It's a nice old historic cemetery, but it certainly isn't the most beautiful cemetery I've ever seen. Uh, it's old, but it's not the oldest cemetery. It's big, but it's not the biggest cemetery. It's not the ist of anything. Uh, what it is, is the cemetery that means the most to me. Thanks for joining us on this first episode. We hope you learned something new. We hope you look at cemeteries in a different way. Uh, we hope you go out and visit a cemetery, whether you know anybody there or not. Uh, there's so much you can learn in any given cemetery. Just step out of your car, step out of your comfort zone, and, uh, and just take a look. <laughs>